for everybody that doesn't know you, we're going to have a little chat about right. how how life's been for you of late. Because um, many years ago you were all over the UK and spells in um, Europe and America. Mm -hmm. um, so just as an introduction, you are Henry Smith and yeah. you are, how would you describe, a traditional modern bit of everything. country the artist? Song is country, yeah. yeah. Mainly traditional. So are you, you, you're a songwriter as well? Do you? Yeah, I've wrote a few songs, yeah. had um, four number ones in the UK country charts and stuff. Cool. So probably a little bit concerned about your voice and you might have a cold or something. Yeah. The reason we're having a conversation is, um, in 2017 you had a real setback yeah. um, and uh, it really was quite life-changing for you wasn't it? And completely life-changing Keith it um, it took me off the boat with the band um, it can I had a little television show going and it stopped everything completely stopped but in a matter of weeks once it started once the problem started it was no time at all yeah so you you noticed you like couldn't hit certain words. Or yeah, certain was, um, I was at, uh, obviously on a gig and you know, get to these odd parts of the songs and mm -hmm. you think about them before you get to them. And, um, yeah. And as I was thinking about it, it's completely disappeared. There was nothing that would come out. Mm -hmm. So um, it, it happened in another two or three songs after that, mm -hmm. which I decided to do some of the sort of deeper stuff. Mm -hmm. We got through the night. But uh, we got through the night all right, thank God. But when I got home the next day, it was like I could hardly talk at all. There was nothing, and it just got worse and worse and worse. Until did, did it feel like you'd strained your voice? Or um, no, it, it didn't. Were there any other symptoms that came along with that? Uh, no, not really. It didn't feel, um, <clears throat> sorry, it You're didn't right? feel like I'd strained it. It just felt like I was being strangled. Okay. It was like... Um, heavy palpitations in the throat, if you like. Okay. And uh, I still have them now, mm -hmm. but I'm learning to control them better than they have been. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So after a long time, um, you obviously went and saw some specialists in the NHS. Yeah, and... we, uh, we tried everything. We had um, different specialists. We had um, somebody come over from the States to, mm -hmm. to check out and different stuff. Uh, and uh, I've had a few operations. Of, I've had... It, therapy speech therapy operate i've had everything absolutely everything for six years mm. and i couldn't talk at all no. not as, not so you've had botox yeah and botox uh, hypnosis yeah, everything, everything. So, the botox it, it did actually work for mm -hmm. about four weeks yeah it worked for about four weeks and then it just died off yeah so it wasn't a sustainable no. viable no. way forward um so then that obviously went on for some while and that must have been very difficult for your family and yourself well i had um i had uh, six years of nothingness if you like yeah to be honest with you keith i, I felt like i died mm -hmm. but was but was still in existence mm -hmm. and um i did go through a hell of a lot of we can imagine can't i couldn't talk to the baby i couldn't answer the phone i couldn't go on a shop I couldn't do anything mm. I confined myself to a studio and that's where I stayed for most of the time mm -hmm. uh, until I had an email I was waiting for an email to come through about our next operation you know yeah. for this and now uh, when it came through I got all excited and I opened it and it said we're going to cancel because there's nothing they can do anymore and, mm. and basically make the most of your life I can imagine when you lose your gift, your tool. But that's it. It, it, was, it, it. You must have thought, well, well, what, what am I, else am I going to do? Exactly. Because I mean, you're a creative person. I assume you're in the studio songwriting or yes, coming up with lyrics while well, just to keep your mind active mm -hmm. and interested. Yeah, all the time. Okay. I had to, to be honest with you. Um, although I couldn't sing or do much about it, I still sat guitar mm -hmm. some in my head to keep myself up yeah. together if, if you like yeah oh, well the best i could mm. and, um i've got a, so you, you know just playing writing lyrics and, yeah. and yeah. Make, playing chords and bits please putting things it, together yeah. was still a process yeah. you could enjoy yeah. yeah 
I wrote take the mind off it. Then. That's it. I wrote a few songs, but I couldn't sing them. No. <laughs> but uh, a little yeah. bit, a little bit more time, I guess I will. Obviously, we we met a few uh, months back, and um, I never forget when you sort of mentioned. The, I I might have slightly misheard it, but um, I imagine you sort of wake you woke up one morning and yeah. And you were able to make a noise, so it must have been the, wow, yeah, what, was, what was that, uh, and how did that feel like? Well, after I had the uh, email saying that it was going to cancel, I just went off the head. I, um, I was walking and didn't even, oh, I'd left the house, if you know what I mean. I was just, I was gone, I was finished, mate. And, um, I'd walk about 50 miles a day, um, not intentionally. It would just happen, I was just, I guess. <clears throat> and uh, one day, as uh, I'd always tried to talk, don't get me wrong, I'd always tried to talk, but one day I said something to myself and it come out loud. Well, I say loud and always come out. Mm -hmm. And it was, to me, it was like giving me a million pound, mate. And uh, I tried to remember how I'd done it. And uh, mm -hmm. I couldn't for the first three or four days, I guess, but. After that, I made another noise, and I remembered how, I'd, how it worked. So I texted the boys, I said, listen, ah, I'm back. <laughs> yeah, I'm back. And texted and said, I'm back. So that was it. They uh, got the band up together, and uh, six or eight months later, I couldn't talk, but I could sing them enough to get by. Yeah. And since then, thank God, things have, things have started to change again. Yeah. I feel like I've got my life back. Excellent. Well, I, I kind of heard you singing and it when we first started talking in the car park actually it wasn't outside um the contrast between your your ability to you know talk flu fluidly compa compared to your singing voice i thought a different guy come on stage yeah like you've got a body double <laughs> it feels like that sometimes yeah it, it must really do does, mate. it really does yeah it's it's, uh, I don't know and I don't understand how I'm talking um, and singing differently. I really don't. Mm. I think it's obviously, it's got to be different muscles I'm using or, or something, mm. I don't know. So now you've got plans. I have, I have. Um, and so you've got some plans with us, which is very exciting. We've got I... um, a gig very soon yes. on the 7th, 7th of October. 7th of October. Which Stand is uh, Saturday. Yeah. Uh, what time does that start? Uh, I think the actual. Uh, You've got I a fly think somewhere. Used, uh, yeah, we do. <clears throat> yes, at seven o'clock we did put That's an it. open date. There we go, everybody. Go. Um, Henry's sorted. He's got his his flyers all ready. Um, fantastic photograph that is. Thank um, you. <laughs> I'm eight mine took that. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, you're bringing your band. Yeah. Yeah, five piece band. Five piece band. Uh, are they the same guys I met? Yeah, before. Exactly. The same Brilliant. Um, so, um, obviously, tickets are on sale on mm -hmm. our website. Yeah. Um, which is stunnerbarns.co.uk forward slash. I think it says Henry Smith. I think. Does it? I'm not sure. I'm not right. sure if it does. Anyway. <laughs> I'll put up a, a link on, on the on the page when we publish this. Um, um and we've got some other people potentially gonna join you, yeah. which we won't release just yet. No. But um because we've got things to sort out. But it's it's brilliant that you're gonna come back and, and start your career off again through us as well. So. I can't, I can't wait. And you've got other gigs before that, haven't you? Yeah, we um we're playing in sorry. <clears throat> okay. We're um, playing in, in um, Western Supermare, yeah. Green Sands, and Seagull on the 30th. Mm -hmm. That's um, that's that's a great place, good gig, yeah. good fun. I'd like you, I'd like you to come along, Keith, and if you could. I, I travel just, long distance yeah. to come and see you, Henry, yeah, know. you know that. <laughs> Lovely, mate, thank you. Well, I'll get you a coffee. <laughs> but, um, yeah. He hasn't offered me one yet. <laughs> that's not true, you have. <laughs> so yeah. how did you it's get, a happy kind of how did you get into country music? I was brought up on that. Okay. My dad used to sing with different bands here and there and stuff. And yeah, ever since my first gig, I was five. And um, I yeah. was a drummer in my dad's band. Five, yeah. 
Excellent. <laughs> so it's in the blood. Yeah, yeah, can't help it, mate. Can't live without it. <laughs> well, I'm going to get you, let your voice have a break now. Okay. Um, when we come back, you're going to do a song yeah, for yeah, us. Sure, Got anything yeah. in mind? Not at all. Not at all. Not Excellent. At all. That's that's a really good title. We'll go with that. <laughs> yeah, not at all. <laughs> we'll have to bite it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Thank you, Henry. Thank you, Keith. See you on the other side. Thank you, God. All the lads and all their tenderly At a time they will sound me For a while I'll be the biggest man in town Back at home in bed she's crying her love for me is dying, but she'll pray I'll make it safely through the night. When the morning sun starts showing to her bedside, I'll be going and she'll hold me. While I face the morning light I'll make her promises Promises to change I'll make her promises And I swear I rearrange And I start giving All the love she needs If only she will stay Once again, she'll reassure me And I believe her love will kill me And I go to sleep with tears on my face And I know she's just a woman her love can't last forever Someday soon I'll know she'll leave without a trace Oh, broken promises Lord, tear her dreams apart Just token promises Will someday break her heart and for the best time She hold me while I cry While I'm sleeping She'll quietly say Goodbye Well that was fantastic Thank you um, What a contrast between how you are every day and then behind the mic you're just this whole new persona, different persona aren't you? Exactly yeah, it's uh, I don't know how to describe it to be honest with you, it just, it's, it's easier to sing than it is to, to be fair, I'd say it's, it's now it's really God given, probably God given now wouldn't you? Yeah, definitely, 100%, yeah. thank you God. It's, it's an amazing, amazing voice thank you. and it makes my hair stand up on the back of my neck and on my arms so yeah really really thank you so much for doing that for us I realize it um, takes a little bit of work to warm up and yeah, it's, um, it's not quite like stepping on stage is it no no it's completely different yeah, yeah. look I say on stage when you were um I guess I'm not the only one to say this but I guess 99.9% of us when they walk on that stage they're a completely different person yeah. than what they were two steps behind. Yes. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, definitely. And that helps. It does. But, you know, that's why your fans follow you. You're a showman, you know. Oh, yeah, I've got a... Nice, um, I've got a, a good few fans who are friends. I'd like, I'd like to be yeah. a friend. But yeah, I've, yes. I've seen you walking around and everyone's yeah. so close to you, aren't they? Yeah. So what we want to do is... Um, Hopefully this little um, interview is giving people a bit of an insight behind you yeah, and what you, and your how you perform. 
So you've got some dates. We've got a date this year with us on the 7th of October, which you mentioned yeah. earlier. Yeah. And you've got three more dates I in have one, two, April, April uh, June and August. That's it. April, June and August. I'll have a check though. But that's yeah. It. So what we'll do is we'll put those up on our link um, early next year, I think. Okay. We might give everybody the dates early. We'll see. Yeah. Oh, it'd be good to see. If they buy tickets, we'll show them the, the dates earlier. But, yeah, get your tickets, <laughs> So, yeah, please come along. Please watch this guy. He's fantastic. Thank you. Um, and he's going to be a close friend of Stronger Barnes Park. Um, and we're going to have a good year next year. Thank you. So, thank you very much. Thank you, everybody. Thank you for good your support, meeting. everybody. Thank you. Thank you, Keith. No problem. Thank you, mate. All right. Take care. You too. Thank you.